morning, Crabby Bill here. Bright and early Saturday morning. Just leaving Crabby's bar, heading out to uh, heading out to the woods. I'm gonna see if I can find a another deer spot. Uh, Want to put up a second tree stand. The uh, first one hasn't been working out all that well for me, but it is a really good spot. Uh, I think the mistakes that are being made are. are the reason why there are no deer are the mistakes that are being made by me. So I want to head out and uh, see if I can find another location to put a second stand. I, uh, I picked up a uh, just a cheap one-seater ladder stand and uh, I'm going to find a spot today. Hopefully next weekend I'll carry that out there and put it up and get some help. Well, it looks like I'm racing the rain today, so I'm going to get out there into the bell plane and uh, see what I can find. I made it out to... Uh the road where my tree stand is, so I'm gonna go in there first and check that out. Uh, see if there's been any activity. Um, I left some uh, salt lick out there. I'm gonna see what's going on with that and uh, just see if there's been any activity before I try to scout another spot. I just went into one place, but it's just way too thick with thorn bushes and I'd never be able to walk through there at night. Uh, check back. <music> Out here at my uh, my stand, it doesn't appear that there's been any activity at all. Uh, salt blocks don't even look like they were touched. I don't see any uh, any scraping or rubs or anything. Some old stuff. I don't know. I'll walk around a little bit on this side, see maybe. Maybe I could pick something up a little bit further in. Well, so oh, that didn't look good. <clears throat> it's been a week since I've been here. I put some uh, salt licks out, and it don't even look like there's any activity on them. Uh, 
I wandered around a little bit and uh, I really didn't see anything at all. Uh, I'm going to move up here a little bit further and see if I could uh, find something that's not as uh, thick with thorn bushes and something that has some activity on it. Not that I really know what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm just going to try to get my nephew to come out with me, uh, who does this all the time. And uh, looks like he's got a broken ankle from a fishing trip. So uh, I'm just out here now, wandering around, see what I could find. I can either find like a nice tree to put a stand on, or a nice area that has nothing but dead trees. And uh, I don't want anything even with dead branches on it, the way the wind kicks up over here. So I'm going to keep looking. It looks like I might have found a, a path here. Check this out next to the swamp. If this clearing's decent, I wouldn't mind this area here if I can find a tree. Do some trimming to get in here. there. I'm out here right next to the creek or the swamps. Got trails going off on that direction there. Got all the swamp. A little thick. It's pretty nice. Got a uh, couple of trails. I'm going to try to walk over to the other side to that far side down there. That big split tree there. And shoot back. It's going to take a little work to make a path through here. Nice quiet path, but it looks like there's a. I'm walking on what was once a deer trail now. Is there something going on in there? here Let's see going up and going over that way along the creek the only thing I don't like all these thorns I'm here and looking back. This tree here would give me the opposite wind direction from my other stand. I'm going to have to scout around a little bit. There's another trail here going off that way. I'm seeing these little, what I'm calling trails, I'm assuming they're from deer. But I'm not seeing too much other activity. I don't, it's not like I'm seeing scrapes or rubs. Or you know, I'll send this video to my nephew and his buddy Andrew and see what they think. I want to make sure I'm not too close to somebody else's spot too. Well, I just went in. I found an area. Um, it was pretty good. It had a clearing. It had two nice trees. Uh, it's right near the swamp. Just out of the tree line. Um, I just went in and cut a little path and cleaned it up a little bit so I don't trip in and making too much noise going in there in the morning. <clears throat> but I guess the next couple of uh, weeks I'm going to have to pick up some uh, feed and throw it out there and maybe throw a camera out there to see if uh, see if anything comes along. Um, I really like the spot where, or what I should say is I'm comfortable with the spot where my regular tree stand is. Uh, it's nice and clear, or it's e you know relatively easy to get to. 
I guess as long as it's not too flooded. Um, I guess the problem with it is I'm comfortable with it. Although I'm just not seeing any deer. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, the next couple of weeks I'll come down and either throw some sugar beets out or some corn in both spots and just see what kind of activity we get. I, uh, <clears throat> I really haven't seen any anything yet today. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm walking out now. It's, uh, it's only a couple hundred yards to the truck. Um, I may stop and check another area down here by the ball fields. But, uh, I'm getting pretty hot out here now. We'll uh, find, find another spot. I'll check back. Well, I'm back at uh, Krabby's Bar and uh, after spending the morning walking around in the woods looking for a spot, um, I found, I think, a uh, I think I found a nice area to uh, put the other stand up. Um, it's right next to the swamp. It's not far from the road. Uh, it's, it's relatively easy to get to. I walk in and out of there a few times. Uh, it should be good. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, pick up some sugar beets or some corn, get it out there and see what happens. Uh, it's actually a spot where I could hunt one side of the road while Stephen hunts the other side of the road where... Uh, maybe a uh, uh, quarter to a half mile apart. Uh, I have to cross one section of the swamp to get the mine, and then that swamp runs up and would go into uh, the area where uh, you know we're looking at putting a second stand. So I'm back here at Krabby's, I'm going to uh, going to see what happens with this video. I was trying out the GoPro today. Uh, it's really the first time I ever used it. My son usually uses it for his uh, weightlifting. Uh, Stevie lifts. Uh, check him out. He uh, he and his uh, he and his girlfriend are into competitive weightlifting, so he's been using it to uh, film himself weightlifting. And I'm in here now, in uh, what was once my uh, my room here that I could relax and just watch TV, watch YouTube videos. And uh, it is now storage for these palm trees, which are sitting right up here on me. But uh, sitting here watching some YouTube videos and uh, downloading my video from today. I also tried out my uh, my new uh, Field and Stream boots. They're a thousand grain, a 14 inch. They were on sale for 80 bucks. So I bought myself and Steven a pair. I uh, tried them out. They were really warm, but it was nice when I had to walk through the swamp. Uh, no, no worries about uh, wet feet. Uh, they're a little, little heavy. Will take it something you know takes to get used to them, but uh, yeah, I like them. Hopefully, my feet will stay warm. I'll uh, see you next time.